Well, hello, uh, Facebook community. Alejandro Dornato uh, here, coming from Beaufort, Georgia. And it is my delight to welcome you to another uh, episode or session uh, or time uh, with me on Transformational Mentoring Wednesday edition. Uh, it is 8.01 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time and um, it is my delight, I mean, to be connecting with you once again. And, you know, I've been uh, reflecting and thinking um, a little bit about um, the topic that I want to share with you uh, tonight uh, because of something that happened to me. And so I was thinking about it and how did I get into this? And it has to do with um, uh, habits. It has to do with maintaining a habit or letting yourself weaken and slide. And so the habit that you wanted to continue doing and implementing then all of a sudden is, is, is no longer there. And so I thought about it and I said, my goodness, what, what are the dangers of taking your eyes off the ball? Are there any dangers uh, that that we may suffer if we take our eyes off the ball. And there are. Because I'm suffering the consequences of taking my eyes off the ball. Now, what, what do I exactly mean uh, when I say it? Uh, taking your eyes off the ball? I mean, are we thinking in terms of um, a sporting event or, or, or a game or perhaps a football game? You see, when you're in a football game and, and, and you're playing and someone throws a pass at you or he throws a pass at a player, and that player it begins to run towards that ball because he wants to catch that ball, perhaps because there's there's a, there's a possibility for a touchdown or 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 or, or maybe gaining a yardage in in the game, and the, so you run towards the ball, but that player he has to keep his eyes on the ball because the whole purpose of running toward the ball is to catch the ball. And what happens if that player takes his eyes off the ball for a, for, for, for a few moments, then there is a possibility that the ball is going to drop. And there will not, a, a catch will not happen. A missed opportunity. Now, that is if we're talking in terms of of a game. But what about if we, that same visualization, that same example, we bring it to our own life? Has there been a time in your life when you took your eyes off the ball? And, and the ball is something that you wanted to achieve, that, 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 that you wanted to get done. Or perhaps it's a habit that you, you were working towards developing and implementing it in your life for the rest of your life, because perhaps that habit had 
a great benefit for you. And then you, you begin doing the things. L let me give you just, um, uh, I, don't, I don't want to talk in a very abstract way, but let me bring it to my own <clears throat> personal life. Um, you know, I, I've shared with you uh, in previous videos that um, uh, I began uh, following, or I became uh, one of my mentors, uh, Robin Sharma, um, and um, it, it's a mentor. I mean, he's just a person, a, a speaker, and um, and uh, and it, it helps. He's a coach, and uh, um, he has a tremendous experience in uh, helping people uh, with human potential. I mean, to really get your potential to where it ought to be. I mean, to live your life to the fullest possible potential that you are capable of doing. I mean, stretching you to the max. And and, and robbing uh, has been uh, for the past, I would say, 20 plus years, uh, being a, a strong advocate and a strong proponent of what he's called, and he's written a book about it, The 5 a.m. Club. And it's getting up at 5 a.m. before everybody else. And for the first hour of your day, the 5 to 6, for those first 60 minutes, is not that you are going to devote that time for everybody else. I mean, to, um, uh, to, 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 to see or respond to emails or to, to respond to texts or to, uh, to be on social media or to be on the internet. No, it's devoting that time for you, exclusively for you. Uh, I, I, I would say to be, for that hour of, of, of every day, is to be very selfish and very protective about that time for you to grow, uh, to exercise, to uh, commune with, with your spirit, with your inner being. I mean, to, to become better during that hour every single day and to do that consistently. And so I, I started doing that and I, um, and, 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 and I was um, pretty successful for about a year. I think it was uh, a, little, a little over a year that uh, consistently day after day after day I was getting up at 5 a.m. as soon as my um, the alarm on my iPhone would go off then I would just jump or step out of bed and start the day and begin implementing that um, that morning routine or morning ritual until just recently, maybe, I mean, towards the end of last year, when one morning uh, the alarm began to sound and I did not feel like getting up. And guess what I did? I did not get up. And I turned the other way and I snoozed and I stayed in bed, uh, maybe for another, I would say, hour or an hour and a half, a couple of hours at the most. And then I finally got up. And, um, and the next day came around and I did exactly the same thing. And so I did that and that became, I mean, it, it started one day and it turned into two days and it turned into three and four 
in a week. In two weeks. In three weeks. In four weeks. And you know what happens? Is that every time that the same cycle, the same circumstance came around and the alarm went off and and I stayed in bed, it became easier to give in to that temptation to stay in bed as opposed to say no it doesn't matter whether I I feel tired or I don't feel tired or I want to stay in bed or I am going to get out of bed and I'm going to do what I know I should be doing But you see, when sometimes we follow our brain, we are setting ourselves up for failure. When uh, when we listened to the brain and we listened to the excuses that the brain feeds us, well, I mean, the bed really feels cozy this morning. Uh, you know, I mean, it's it's still it's still very dark outside. You see, I mean, if 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 I don't exercise or or if I don't do if I don't journal this morning, if I don't read this morning, well, I mean, I can. I can do more tomorrow. But then tomorrow came and nothing happens. And 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 that temptation of staying in bed grew stronger. And as the days kept following one after the other, that temptation got even stronger and stronger and stronger. And all of a sudden, then the habit that you have been working on so hard, it goes to the wayside. And why is that? Because I allowed... my eyes to be taken off the ball, to be taken off the the task that I knew that it had to be done every single day. Now, that's an example. And now, now I have to, and I'm going back, I, I'm, I'm, I'm re- no, retraining myself to go back and to start redoing that 5 a.m. habit all over again. Because I know that it's, it's of great benefit to me. Because it's, it's, I want to make it part of my life you know sometimes you hear people say if 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 i did not go to the gym today i just felt like naked i felt like there was something missing and indeed when when you when you work towards a habit and you want to incorporate it into your daily activities and you don't do it is like there was something missing that particular day And so, that's that's one of the dangers of uh, taking your eyes off uh, a project that you're working on or a habit that you want to uh, develop and implement, uh, something that you want to do. Do not take 
your eyes off the ball. Do not do it. Because you do it one day and 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 and, and you feel that you feel that degree of guilt. You do it a second time and that level of guilt gets reduced. And the more days that you do it, it gets to a point that you don't feel guilty anymore. And that's a danger. When you don't feel guilty anymore and you says, okay, well, uh, whether it be getting up at five in the morning or whether it be you want to um, increase the business that you have and you want to uh, get new customers, new clients, and you said, well, every day I'm going to go and I'm going to call or I'm going to visit businesses in order to get more 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 clients uh, that I can service but then one day you said well I mean it's raining so I'm not going to do it you see you just immediately took your eyes off the ball the ball is it doesn't matter whether it rains whether it shines whether it snows it doesn't matter if you determined that you were going to do something you do it i mean you keep your eyes on the ball and you keep running toward the ball in the direction of the ball without taking your eyes off the ball because your intention is to catch the ball so whether it is um, becoming healthier, going to the gym, eating better foods, uh, stopping junk food, um, um, whatever it is, you have to keep your eyes in the goal that you want to achieve. You see, I... Um, I I, uh, I remember that um, I don't know. I mean, if you heard, I I, I hope that you have um, Mel Robbins, um, an author and uh, a speaker. She wrote a book, and uh, I believe that she gave a TED talk, and and it was um, an incredibly um, uh, viewed. TED Talk. I don't know how many million um, uh, hits or 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 or, or sites uh, for that talk, and and the talk was about the five second rule, and, and what uh, and, and I have been implementing that because um, I had forgotten about it, and so. This, what, what, what happened to me about getting up or not getting up at five o'clock recently, uh, it brought the five second rule to my awareness once again. And what is that rule? Well, if you're going to do something and you, you said, okay, um, for instance, in this example, I'm going to get up at five. The alarm sounds at 5 a.m. If you let your brain say, okay, well, I mean, I'm just going to turn and I'm going to stay in bed, then you already lost the fight. It's... Uh, it's not a win, it's a loss. And what the five second rule is, is if you're going to get up at five, then you, 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 you hear the alarm and then you said, five, four, three, two, one, 
blankets away, I'm out of bed. And the reason is that you have only five seconds to beat the thinking brain and what the brain is going to try to get you to do. The brain is going to try to, to say, okay, well, it feels very comfortable where you are. Stay. And if you give in to that, then there is no more resistance. The brain won the fight. But if you say, okay, five, four, three, two, one, out. I'm out of bed. Then you did not give enough time to the brain to get you to lower that resistance. And so you won the battle. And if you do that consistently and you apply that five second rule every time that you're doing something and uh, it says if, 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 if you start to think about it, it says, uh, uh, shall I go to the gym this morning or shall I stay? And then you look at the weather and says, oh, I mean, it's, it, it's cold and it's raining and it's wet. Oh, yucky. Boom. You're already lost. You're, I mean, you're staying home and you're not going to the gym. But if you said, okay, I am go, I'm going to the gym. Um, I'm going, I'm, I'm, it's, it's that five, four, three, two, one, boom, put on my sneakers, put it right. I'm out of the door. I am going to the gym. That's, there's no more resistance. You are going. So what, what, uh, what I want to uh, make it clear is when it comes time to do things, when it comes time to um, continue doing and moving forward a habit, don't take your eyes off the ball. Keep your eyes on the task that you want to accomplish. Don't take your eyes off. I mean, don't, don't get distracted. Don't let your brain, your thinking brain, enough time to get you off the task at hand and said, okay, this is this is an alternative which is an easier alternative, a more comfy, comfortable alternative for you. You don't have to drive, I mean, to the gym in this weather. Come on. It's too cold to get out there. You know, I mean, you are here and it's heated and you can... You can feel the softness of the blankets on your body. Why are you going to get out of this comfortable environment? It's because if you get out of that comfortable environment, you are growing, you are stretching, you are moving forward as opposed to getting stuck. And uh, forgive me, I'm, I'm not shouting at you. I am, in a sense, even talking to myself because I have fallen into that trap. And I, I want to listen to me with determination because I want to get out of that trap trap and I hope that you do not get into that trap. I want to prevent you from doing that. So today's um, 
uh, content. Today's uh, teaching was on if you're doing something, keep your eyes on that something. Do not even think for a moment to take your eyes off the ball because you're going to miss the ball. You are going to let the ball drop. Keep your eyes firm on that ball until you catch it. And then keep on, 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 on that um, uh, attitude, on that perspective. Keep, keep your eyes focused on what you want to accomplish. Because that is the only way that you'll be able to accomplish it and to do it. So, thank you so very much. Um, I guess now uh, that I have shared this with you, you know, the burden with me has become lighter. And I am all pumped up. I'm telling you, I mean, it's, it's true. Is true. I am all pumped up for tomorrow morning to get up at five in the morning because I want to be accountable to all of you. And I tell you, uh, I'm going to let a few episodes go by, but I will be reporting back to you on how I am doing re-establishing that 5 a.m. waking time for me on a daily basis. Because I want you to be, uh, I want to be accountable to you. And if you have um, a similar situation, uh, connect with me, uh, get in touch with me, write me at um, alejandro at alejandrojtornato.com, that's my email, and, um, and if I can help you, if I can uh, inspire you, motivate you, um, I'm more than willing to do that. And um, if, um, if you really want to um, either, I mean, um, uh, have me for your next event um, to speak to your organization, to your team, to your group, uh, if you want me to uh, go and facilitate uh, a lunch and learn training session or a workshop or a seminar, connect with me. Uh, there you can, uh, here, you can connect right at the bottom. I mean, I put my uh, website. That's a new website. That's my new uh, URL, alejandrojtornato.com. I encourage you to go and browse through the pages. Uh, there's, um, there's plenty of information. There's some of the um, you can read some of the um, uh, curriculums of uh, different uh, courses that um, I facilitate, I mean, for uh, corporations, for groups, for companies. And um, it is always my desire to add value to people, to continue um, creating content that is going to help business owners, it's going to help uh, emerging leaders, entrepreneurs with uh, leadership, with uh, personal growth, with uh, personal development. Remember one thing that either we are moving forward into growth or we are moving back into safety. It's either growth or is it the comfort zone and safety 
zone and no growth. And I want to be an agent of change in your life. I want to help you to grow. I want to help you to get to the next level in your potential. There is greatness within you. There is tremendous potential within you. And I want to help you tap into that potential and have you make an impact in the world using that potential. Thank you very much. Alejandro Tornato signing out. But before I do that, I want to remind you to live every moment, be resilient, and also be kind, be passionate, be well.